A plant that was once an enemy considered a noxious weed has become one people are trying to save. It is essential for the life cycle of the monarch butterfly, a species that needs this plant to survive. Milkweed acts as a home and a food source for many insects. The monarch butterfly, however, relies exclusively on this plant to reproduce. We will follow monarch butterflies from their time as tiny eggs to hungry caterpillars and then to full-grown butterflies. Milkweed gets its name from the white fluid that comes out of it when it's injured, and it reproduces and spreads very easily, hence the weed part. In the past, it was considered a noxious weed since it invades farmers' crops and spreads easily. Pesticides were a method used to reduce the population of this plant, and the reduction of milkweed has affected monarch populations. The latex in the plant has previously been explored as a source of rubber, but it was not suitable for this purpose. The floss from milkweed seed pods is fluffy and water-resistant, and in World War II it was used to add water-resistant buoyancy to life jackets. School children in the US and Canada were tasked with collecting these pods to help with the war effort. Campaigns have started to encourage people to plant milkweed to help support monarch populations. More milkweed means more plants to help raise young monarchs. Other methods to help monarchs include collecting and raising their eggs and then releasing adults. This is a great summer activity for children or in classrooms. Stay tuned to see us follow the process from egg to caterpillar to butterfly release. The first step in this process is to find monarch eggs. Monarchs are present in the summer where they lay eggs usually on the bottom part of the leaves of milkweed. The eggs then hatch into very tiny caterpillars, a few millimeters in length. The tiny caterpillars then munch their way through the milkweed leaves. When the caterpillars are young, they will eat the soft leaf tissue between the veins of the leaves. They leave tiny holes, poops, and they start to grow. In nature, these caterpillars are at risk of falling off leaves during storms or high winds or being eaten by predators. Collecting some leaves and raising them safely can help give monarchs a helping hand. We used one of these mesh containers lined with paper towel to hold the milkweed leaves that had eggs on them. The milkweed leaves will need to be replaced daily and you will have to be careful not to toss out baby caterpillars. You should also empty out the poop and replace the paper towel on the bottom of the carrier. You can also put leaves in a container with water to help keep them fresh longer. The caterpillars will look around for fresh leaves and then they will eat a very large amount of milkweed. A monarch caterpillar increases in size by 3,000 times to become large enough to transform into a butterfly. After they hatch from their egg, they consume it and then begin eating milkweed. They have five phases of growth while they are caterpillars called instars. They move from the first to fifth instar over a period of about 10 to 14 days. They shed their skin as they move from one instar to the other, and they actually eat their shed skin afterwards. Caterpillars have two tentacles at the front of their thorax and two smaller ones at their back end. They have three pairs of true legs which help them hold on to leaves. They also have four pairs of pro legs that help them grip onto surfaces. You will notice that monarch caterpillars poop a lot. They eat constantly and while some of the food helps them grow, the waste needs to come out. Here is an up close and personal example of one of these poops. Their enclosure needs to be cleaned daily. When caterpillars have reached a length of about 45 millimeters or between 1.5 to 2 inches long, they will leave the milkweed leaves and search for a place they can hang upside down to form a chrysalis. This is also called a pupa, and it's where the caterpillar will transform or undergo metamorphosis to form a butterfly. Caterpillars form a chrysalis after hanging in a J position for about 24 hours. After this time, they shed their outer skin and reveal a bright green and gold chrysalis. After about a week, you will notice the chrysalis changes from bright green to nearly black and you'll see the orange and black pattern of the monarch wings inside. This means your monarch is very close to emerging. When the top of the chrysalis starts to spread apart, the butterfly will emerge very soon. The monarch breaks out of its chrysalis and starts to circulate fluid to its wings which helps them expand.
The monarch releases meconium, which is a waste product accumulated during metamorphosis. This monarch is a male since it has a small pouch on each wing that helps it release a perfume for attracting females, called a pheromone. This time lapse shows how the chrysalis changes prior to emergence. You can see it become clearer as the monarch separates from it and you can also see it expand at the top just before emergence. The expansion of the wings is also more clear in the time lapse. After at least 4 hours, but up to 24 hours later, depending on weather and the activity level of your monarch, you can bring your monarch outside to release it. Choose a day with relatively low wind and an area with flowers. Also be sure that the temperature is above 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit and it's not rainy. We chose a green space near a creek in our city. Two monarchs needed some help getting out of the enclosure, but one was very much ready when the door opened. It was so amazing to see these beautiful butterflies fly out of their enclosure and begin the next stage of their lives. We wish them happy trails as they make their way to their overwintering location in Mexico. If you can find some milkweed near your home, collect some of the pods that you'll see on the mature stalks and spread around the milkweed floss and seeds to try and plant some milkweed in your garden or in a field close to your home. Then, next summer, you'll be able to collect some eggs yourself and go through this process of raising monarchs. It's so satisfying and rewarding. Thanks for watching.